Today, we're shooting with this. Well, actually, this. And this guy, and this guy here. That is starting to look amazing. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, let's keep going. That's looking dope. Ooh. Yeah, I love it. Something different, I don't know. I like it. Let's go. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Yep, that's cool. Looks nice. This is better than any lens I own. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Chris Howe and today's video will be covering mobile car photography ideas for your next photo shoot. So what we'll be doing is you will be following me along POV style, hence this crazy getup on my chest, just to see how I shoot a car. So I'm gonna be shooting a Porsche 911 Carrera today. I'm super stoked, I've never shot Porsche before. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just getting a little familiar with it. Every car is so different, they have different shapes. So it's nice to just kind of take a quick gander around, see how the light is kind of working in the space that you're in and just start playing around with some different shots and different ideas. So try to shoot all around the car, shoot the back of the car, because a lot of people always like to focus on the front of the car, but the back is always so beautiful. I'm just shooting from behind here. There's a lot of these like cracks here, which actually look pretty sweet. So we might be able to do something with that. I don't know if that's cool or not, but let's try it anyways. I feel like that car would look better if I turned it around here, had it facing me, or shot like this. So I'm gonna move the car around. Oh. I personally like it when the lights on the car are on for shots, and then I like having the wheel turned a little bit towards the shot. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of that door over there, as well as this door, so you can kind of like frame them out a little bit. See if we can like get low, get a little bit of that beam of light in coming from the car. And I'm wondering too, is maybe if I create a bit of dust, get it kicking up right on the headlights there. If there's a little bit of that, like look at this. That is starting to look amazing. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, let's keep going. We don't even need haze, just get dust. Sorry, Porsche. Didn't mean to dust up your car so much. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is gonna get the haze machine going. Output on. Right. Okay, those light beams are looking sweet. Woo! Yeah. I love it. That looks cool. It's a nice texture that we're getting right there. Getting a little light there, that's kinda cool. Something different, I don't know, I like it. Let's see here, I think what will look nice is maybe in between these beams. Or honestly, just like a nice wide right here. Oh, that's looking sweet. Get low so we can get rid of maybe that door that's right there. And the car looks a little silhouetted intensely, but I kind of like it. It's always good before you move the car, just take a quick look around it, because you never know. You might actually get something really sick. Like this, looks kind of cool. Okay, I don't like it the way that wheel is. So let's just uh, move that. Uh. Oh, I like these beams there, that looks sick. Oh, this will look so good edited. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, let's try this little crack going here. That looks kind of cool. Like that. Okay, can you tell me when the logo is straight up? Good. Good. Fark. That looks nice. Probably, let's just see what the, the bokeh looks like at F 0 0.95. What? This is better than any lens I own. <laughs> I like shooting down. Ooh, that looks good. I like this line that's happening right here. So I feel like we could do something cool with that. I'm starting to get warmed up a little bit. Let's get some macros here just some of the details of the car. This wheel is just so beautiful. Look how dusty this is. <laughs> oh man, I ruined that. Don't do that to your car stuff. <laughs> okay, definitely feeling warmed up at this point. We're starting to lose light, so what we're gonna do is shoot again in the morning for sunrise. Also, I just wanna say a big shout out to Christoph Benfi for letting us use Evil Empire Studios. That place is literally the best, but for now, 
it's time to go to bed. I'll catch you in the morning. Morning, everybody. It is seven in the morning and we are gonna be doing some chase shots here with this car while I hang out of this car here. Let's meet our driver, Mr. Mr. Danny. Let's get it. Are you ready? Let's get it. Let's go, let's go. Light's getting good. All right, starting now. All right, now we're just gonna hang out of the car window, get a little bit of a higher angle on this guy. You good, Danny? All right, buddy, let's do it. All right, so the whole goal when you're doing chase shots with cars is you wanna make the car look like it's going fast. Now, in order to do that, you need to play around with the shutter speed. Now, on a mobile phone, sometimes the built-in apps don't have pro mode, so I would download a pro app, but in this case, in the Vivo V20, we have a pro mode where we can control the shutter speed. Now, we're going about 50 miles an hour here, so my shutter speed will match that one over 50. If you're going 30 miles an hour, you know, the rule of thumb is to go one over 30. So this case, in order to get lots of movement and motion blur, we're gonna have a slower shutter speed. Now, if you wanna make that movement look even more dramatic, get closer to the action. Lower your phone, flip it upside down, and now you get the headlights and even more motion blur in your frame, and shots look even more dramatic. Now, my personal taste when I am doing chase shots is I like to shoot with it backlit. I think it just looks more dramatic with the sun behind you, especially when you have good quality light, like sunrise or sunset. Okay, we're good. A little faster. And give me a little bit more room. Good. All right, we're good. That's good. That's good, well done. Dude. Yeah, we got it. There's some sweet photos in there. It looks good, yeah, yeah. Okay guys, I promise I will move in just a second. I know it says no parking, but I also can't drive and vlog at the same time. So uh, that was really great. I'm inside because it's freezing. It's also November and I was hanging out the side of a car shooting in the photos so of my hands. I are just glued to this heated steering wheel right now. I have one more shot idea that we're gonna be doing next. So we're gonna go to our next location to go and get that. And so that I also don't get, don't get a ticket. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, so I have this idea for a shot that I think will work really well for mobile. So essentially, usually when I have a mirrorless camera, I use an ND filter and I'll suction cup the camera to different parts of the car to get some really cool results with motion blur. And I think we can do the exact same thing by using a clip-on ND filter, put it on the camera, and then suction cup this camera that we're using right now to the car, like the front or like the top or the side, and get some cool results. So let's get that set up. All right, so let's quickly chat gear to get the results that we're looking for. So I have this uh, suction cup mount here, this crazy spider looking thing. I have a beefy cell phone mount here that's made of metal just because I don't want it to ever fall off while we're driving this car. We have a Bluetooth remote and then we have a little clip on ND neutral density filter here that you can get for like 30 bucks on Amazon. And this should be all you need to get the results. So let's, uh, let's plop this on. Isn't that a fun word, plop? <laughs> probably pull the car with that. That's looking legit. So I feel confident in that there. Let's grab our phone. Nice little Vivo. So let's clamp it like so. And then this is just super easy. Let's go into the more section here. We'll go into pro and then you can even just go in and change the actual shutter. So let's bring it all the way down to like one over Let's see here, one, this is like one over eight right now. And then as you can see, super bright. That doesn't look good. How do we fix that? Well, we can use an ND filter to compensate. I think that's gonna look pretty dope as our first kind of test shot. And then we have our little remote trigger. So then we'll just go inside and boom, trigger it off using Bluetooth. Easy peasy. All right, please don't fall off. Okay, let's get some of these shots. All right guys, so I'm just gonna quickly jump on here with a voiceover to talk you through a little bit of what we're doing. So obviously number one, safety first, buckle up kids. Uh, right now we have the camera on the front of the car and Lucas, who is in the passenger seat, is firing off the trigger with the Bluetooth remote so that we can get the shots. To get more dramatic motion blur, we tried to drive in a really highly dense area with tall buildings just so the shot looked more dramatic. All right, so we are going to place this in a different spot. I'm gonna place it on the top just to get a different angle so we have some more variety in our shots. So we're gonna place it, I think, probably like on the top here, and we're gonna face it kind of down at the hood of the car. Now, because at this angle, the camera's actually pointing down mostly at the windshield. So in order to get a really interesting shot, you're mostly gonna see the motion blur in the reflection, as you can see here. 
All right, so I'm gonna try one last shot, mainly because this camera actually has a 44 megapixel front-facing camera with eye autofocus. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how does that relate to cars? So what we're gonna do is tape it to the windshield so there's a shot of me with my arm out the window while we're driving that I think will look super, super cool. Also, we gotta switch out cars, mainly because the Porsche is really, really low. So we're gonna switch to my Jeep so I can sit a little bit higher so the shot idea works out. So let's switch to the setup of this shot right now. All right, so for this setup, up, we have literally two pieces of gear, I guess three pieces of gear. I have this like little bendy tripod clamp, which we're gonna actually just put right here on the windshield and the side mirror. And then I have the heavy duty phone mount, which we're gonna actually place our phone in. But because I don't want this to jiggle around a lot, what we're gonna do is actually just tape this down using some gaff tape here. So let's do a quick gaff sequence. Again, you do this at your own discretion. I don't want you guys to damage your cars by trying to do any crazy shots. I would really feel bad if I scratched the Porsche while using this setup. You can obviously find other ways of doing this, but this is the way that I'm gonna be doing it that feels safe. High resolution, 44 megapixels. And let's just put this guy right there. Okay, so the goal here is to get a lot of motion blur while also utilizing the eye autofocus. So in our first shot, we safely got this, by the way, because Lucas is actually in the passenger seat pressing the shutter release on the Bluetooth remote. So if you're ever doing this, just again, please make sure you are following safety guidelines. Do not get in a car accident for a cool photo. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? I'm not even going to let you answer. I'm just going to tell you anyways. The car, the toy car that you saw at the beginning of this video was gifted to me from my grandfather when I was eight years old and 21 years later, we're using it in a YouTube video. Isn't that crazy? Almost the exact same color. How? Out of all the cars in the world, that's the one they gave us. Thank you, Portia. Thank you, Grandpa. I don't know how that all came together, but it did and my mind is blown. <laughs> Big shout out to our sponsor, Vivo. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this week's episode to let us go and use your phones to shoot cars. It's my favorite subject matter. And as you can see, these things take incredible photos. It's also got an incredible sleek and slim design. And most importantly, check out the back of this thing. I could just stare at that all day. And also two front facing cameras, 4K and super wide. I'm just saying. Amazing. So if you guys want to go check out more about the Vivo V20 and V20 Pro, links are below. And you know what time it is. It's ASMR outro time. Vintage. This is the new sounds you will sleep to. It kind of sounds like rain.